Occupy movement invaded CPAC and we caught the melee on camera. The CPAC crowd literally chanted the Occupy movement out. Meanwhile, outside, the Occupy group gave their update on what was going on inside. There was a whole bunch of PETA Republicans up in. They were pushing us, shoving us. But I don't care. We got our point across. We blocked the TV. We didn't let them them watch Mitt Romney. Here's the Occupy DC crew hanging out in the cold near the convention. We found out they were paid to show up by union groups. They had their trademark arrests and attempt to rally behind an unclear message. I got a job of my own and I created my own. And I got a lot of people that, you know what I'm saying, working with me at this job. So therefore, we should all help each other out. If everybody get this money, this tax money, and pay the job, we can all have a job. That's all I got to say. But they didn't slow down CPAC like they'd hoped to. Just glad to be here. This is kind of like the Super Bowl for me. That was actor Alan Covert of Happy Gilmore and the Waterboy fame. He was excited to be at CPAC along with other familiar faces such as Congresswoman Michelle Bachman, former Congressman J.C. Watts, Senator Rand Paul, and game show host Chuck Woolery. ALG spoke with one famous attendee, Ann Coulter. Here's her take on the issues. So is government spending a forgotten issue on, on Capitol Hill? Not forgotten in this place. But in the Senate it is. It's the Democrat Senate. The event opened up business opportunities such as selling merchandise, including this book, or the Rick Santorum sweater vest. There were also those who were running for office. They say they want a job in Washington because spending needs to be cut. People asked me the other day, why am I running? I said, well, there's about 1.4 trillion reasons to run. And that's because our deficit is that big. It has just run amok. ALG spoke with former Governor Jim Gilmore of Virginia. He believes big government cutbacks need to be more of an issue. We ought to be freezing the spending or even reducing it. We should be growing the economy and we should be uh, cutting the, or not cutting the entitlements, but fixing the entitlement program, which uh, is going to outrun our finances. Gilmore ran for president last election. He believes the current administration is the last thing we need during a weak economy. Good, solid economists explain that for every dollar you raise of new revenue, you lose three dollars in your gross domestic product. And when you lose three dollars in your gross domestic product, you're reducing jobs. So we mainly have got to get people back to work, give them some future and some hope for the, for the prospects for the coming days. That's what growth really means in this country. Reporting from Washington, Frank McCaffrey.